Well, I was, uh, you know, pretty much the, you know, the, when I had to answer questions last night, the only thing I could think of was, you know, kind of the way that my little brother and I saw Alan and Phil, you know, when we were growing up. And, and I told him last night, I was only, you know, I'm only a year, basically a year younger than Alan, but he was always so much older than I was. Um, he's just way more mature than I could ever be. You know, he's just that guy. Uh, like my parents said, you know, he, he had goals and he went after them, you know, full force. And, and uh, I mean, I always wish I could be like that, um, but I guess to find my place in the family, I was a little bit more of a goofball than, than him. But, you know, he always, he always kept me in line. But, you know, he, he was just the guy that, that always took care of me and, and, and Joey, my little brother, you know. Um, he made sure we were doing what we needed to be doing, and, and you know, sometimes it was either a, you know helping him, other times it was a, a foot up my rear. But you know, he, he was always there to help help us out, and and he was always really proud of us. He always told us that he was really proud of us, and and uh, but just I mean, he was, I mean, he was the best older brother you, you I I could ever you know ask for, and I was very lucky to have him. And I, and um, I mean, I just, I just hope you know he. I just hope he knew that you know we all cared about him, and I think he did. You know, um, but uh, we we got. Well, I was very lucky to spend as much time, you know, as I did with him. You know, growing up, we always did everything together as a, as a family. Um, you know, and and I was very fortunate to go to the academy, I, I pretty much just followed in his footsteps wherever he went. You know, I, I followed him to web school, um, followed him onto the lacrosse field, um, followed him to the Naval Academy, you know, and then, uh, you know, followed him into Naval Aviation, and, and, you know, from there I kind of, I kind of branched out, you know, and I, I became the helicopter pilot, you know, and he was, he was in jets, of course, um, but just, happened to, you know, pick HS and, and happened to you know, get the uh, the squadron that deployed in the in the exact same air wing as, as, as he did and, and we you know we did our first deployment together, you know, in O five and O six on the uh, the Theodore Roosevelt. Um, and that was that was amazing because, you know, I, I'm able to share that with him and, and you know, we have a bunch of pictures of it, you know, but no one else in the family gets to have that, you know, that experience with him. Yeah, you know, we, we lived three doors down from each other on the carrier, uh, you know, down in the uh, the O deck, and uh, I still remember, you know, seeing seeing him, on, you know, seeing his name on the flight schedule, seeing my name on the flight schedule, you know, when we were when we were doing missions, you know, completely separate missions. I, I'd I'd be running, you know, some type of a, a surface contact mission. He'd be, you know, running some type of a, you know. A, a seed mission, uh, you know, up in the skies, and you know, I'd hear him when he would leave. I'd hear him when he come back, and every now and then we'd, you know, talk on the radio, you know, on on some discreet frequency, just just to, you know, shoot the bull with each other, and uh, yeah, it was it was nice, you know, I'm, I'm I miss that, you know, you know, when I uh, was very fortunate though. I mean, we always happened to be in similar locales or, you know, even when I was stationed in San Diego, you know, he'd have to, he'd have to come down to San Diego to catch the boat so that they could, uh, his squadron could do training missions out on the carrier and he'd stop in and, you know, we'd have lunch or, or dinner or a couple of drinks and, you know, go see a, go see a movie or something like that and, and so I, and then I was fortunate to, to come back home and, and, you know, and he'd visit a lot, so, it's always been great to have him around. Can I ask you, because, uh, I mean, you, you flew, you know, hundreds, thousands of hours in military aircraft, and he did too. Uh, you know, that. have you asked yourself, you know, how could this have happened, or have you just always had that perspective that knowing something like this could occur, or kind of where are you at on that? Well, in, in terms of my own my own, you know, like my own personal safety, you know, I've, I've kind of made peace with it. You know, anything can happen at any moment. Every single time I, I strap on an aircraft, um, 
but I mean, I got to be honest, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's always, it's always scared the crap out of me when my brothers strap on an aircraft or my little brother when he, you know, when he went to Afghanistan or Iraq, um, you know, I, it's almost like I don't care about my own personal safety, but, but I, I, I always wanted to do whatever I could to protect them and maybe I feel a little guilty because I, I couldn't, I couldn't protect him, but, um, I mean, it was his, it was his job, and and he loved what he did, and and he was always very very proud of what he did, and I was always very proud of of everything that he did and and what he stood for, you know, because he's he was the type of guy that that did the job because it needed to be done, not because of what it could get him in life, and not because of what you know types of pats on the backs he would get from anybody or anything like that. I mean, all the guys that, that were in his squadrons, they know he he would always take the crappiest deals, you know, the crappiest flights, you know, the, or the, what I mean, the early mo earliest mornings, the latest at night. Um, I mean, he would he would always do that, you know, because it, it needed to be done. And rather than rather than worry about you know what it would do to him personally, he he it was just it was a part of who he was, you know. It was a goal. I mean, it was it was something that needed to be done, and, and, and he always took it upon himself to, to do it, whether or not anybody told him he shouldn't. Um, but now, you know, in terms of how I feel about it is, you know, of course I, I, I wish things had been different, and, and I always wish that everything could be as safe as possible, and, but I know that's not the case, and, and I mean, I mean he's, he's scared me plenty of times before. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's there's lots of things that that we told each other about the aircraft that never made it to the rest of the family. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> I know for a fact that your your brother has probably had his fair share of stuff that he hasn't shared with you guys. I um, mean, because it's just it's a dangerous job. You know, any any of that type of flying is just ultra ultra dangerous. And uh, irregardless of how great a pilot you are, and often. Often cases. Yes. It's just a, um, well, you know, I, I, you, you've said so much that I, I'm pretty happy with everything you've done in this interview. I don't know if you want to say anything else. Or uh, I, I mean, every everybody's been you know asking about him, and and I guess the the one thing I I do want to point out, and they ask about his, his military stuff, and and that and that's great. But the one thing I do want to point out is, is you know how how much of a, a, a family guy he was I mean he, he loved all of us and he would bend over backwards and he has been over backwards for any of us you know brothers and sisters and my parents and 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 his his wife and his two daughters and the only reason he killed himself you know all the time at his job the only reason he just he just would just push and push and push is because just to make you know life that much better for all of us, and, and especially for his his wife and his, and his daughters. I mean, I mean, he was just on call 24/7 doing stuff for everybody else and not himself. And uh, he he loved his wife, you know, and his his two kids, and I know they loved him. And, 